welcome to Catholic Nest. So I thought I'd share a little bit more about the Primer 1 um, for the Cottage Press uh, English curriculum. So um, we started the autumn one um, and I've done a previous video of a, a flick through of that. So, But I've gone ahead and bought the winter and spring one as well. So I thought I'd do a little look inside. So um, for the Cottage Press you will need to buy the teaching helps as well. Which will give you a little bit of a guide about each day. So I'm going to include at the end of this video a little bit um, of my daughter doing uh, her cottage press lessons um, so you can see what they look like in reality. So the first primer one is autumn. There's three uh, workbooks for the year. Uh, the first one used with Aesop's Fables of Children and on their website you can print off two um, artists per term for free. So I laminate them and with all the information about the artist to discuss with the child and then um, I think it's six pieces of art. So they do two artists per term. So um, each workbook you'd print off two artists. So next term will be the Primer 1 Winter and that's used with 50 Famous Stories Retold which is a classic living book by James Baldwin so this is what you'll be reading aloud and the book the workbook tells you what to read and when so it's the same formula as the first one where you have a little bit for them to read. They'll tell you what to read out of the book. So King Alfred and the Cakes is the first one. So King, so King Alfred and the Cakes, which would be this story here. So they're not long. But before you read, you go through the vocabulary and either while you're uh, reading or afterwards they draw a narration picture to sum up what they've heard. So I think it's about two a week from here. And then it's the same order of having over four days. Um, so the first nature one in this one is draw the phases of the moon. the same just a little bit of everything throughout the four days so it goes over 12 weeks so you can split it um, how you want it. it ideally it goes over four days a week but we do it over three and we just roll it round and um, if we um, if the term is longer than 12 weeks anyway it kind of evens out and some weeks we do less some weeks we do more so that's the um, second term then term three which is spring which would be the spring summer term is used with the adventures of Danny Meadow Mouse £1.96 got this on eBay so it's much cheaper you look for it second hand a lot of these, um, I think they can all, if not most of the books that they use with the curriculum, you can print for free online and there's usually a link to them on their website. Um, or this was about £5. And uh, easily find this second hand on eBay. So it'll just tell you um, the chapter that you're reading, the same as before. So again, the same... The same teaching help goes over the whole year. It'll just tell you Danny Meadow Mouse is worried, which would be the first chapter on here. And you'd read that, so they're reading a, a whole story rather than individual stories for this one. And the same formula again with the um, vocabulary, the narration picture, copywork. And then there's usually bits of grammar or spelling rules or spelling and so forth down here. On the second day, nature. So the first nature one in this 
is plant some seeds this week, follow the instructions in teaching helps, draw and label the seeds in the first frame of the plant growth chart and the appendix. Draw and label the parts of a flower in the box below. So then it would have um, some direction in here. So it's all about the to plant seeds you will need and it's telling you in detail there more information about this lesson. So there's, there's lots of um, different nature themes that run throughout. I really like the fact it pairs art with um, sort of classic literature. Um, I really believe in copy works. I really like that it has that in there. Um, and I like the fact it has some grammar and spelling lessons as well. So it kind of has a, a nice little bit of everything. So there's some bits here that it's talking about in the back. So it's got a weather calendar, a plant growth chart it referenced. And then I suppose you could either use them as they were, or if you wanted them loose, you could photocopy them. So that's the third term. We haven't printed off our art yet, we're just going to see how we get on to which ones we want. So um, this is the full year. Then there is a primer too. I know Cottage Press also do um, programmes for older children with poetry and grammar as well. So we'll just see how we get on um, when we get to that point. There is a primer too, which is similar to this, but um, a level up. And uh, they do their work in a separate notebook because there's a bit more to it. So that's a, a look inside a Cottage Press, the full primer one. Um, and I'll show some little snippets now of my seven-year-old uh, doing some of her lessons. Thank you for watching. So we're doing day three of Cottage Press week uh, two at the moment and my daughter's just done the date the story for today is the boy and the forbits and we're going to go through her vocabulary words before she starts and then she'll draw a picture um, she'll do her own picture for the story so we've read the story of the boy and the filberts about a greedy boy who tries to take so much out of the, um, the jar that he can't get his hand back out so my daughter's just illustrating that picture now and we've been over the vocabulary words and made sure she understands what they all mean. So my daughter's done her little picture now, the boy with his hands stuck in the jar. And I've got my toddlers. Over there having a go with the crane. You done, darling. Good girl. So my daughter's just doing her copy work now and um, then she's going to practice writing her days of the week. So for the days of the week, because she's been doing them a bit, I've asked her just to cover them with a ruler to read it, cover it up and write it. So my daughter's finished her um, cottage press for the day. So the last thing she had to do was write three words that rhyme with sale. So I'm um, just setting up uh, my daughter's week two, day four cottage press. So today she's doing a picture study. She's doing um, the second one of the John James Audubon. Last time she did this uh, blue bird one um, and she had to look at the picture and then try and draw, uh, paint it from memory so she chose to do it in watercolours um, so we did it on watercolour paper and stuck it in so she's going to do her date um, and then she's going to write out the name of the painting and artist then we're going to do some dictation uh, using her spelling words to see how she's doing with those and then we've got a little grammar lesson down here about past tense and um, making things plural so I've had a look in the 
lesson guide for today uh, and there's not much to say on um oops sorry wrong page had a look in the lesson guide for today and it's there's not much direction in regards to today so sometimes there's more little tips than other days so my daughter's done the date and she's just writing the name of the painting that she's about to do into her workbook so because she likes to paint rather than copy or cut and stick I'm using this um, these little pieces of card that are a bit thicker so there'll be no bleed through so she paint onto the card and then we'll stick it in so all the children have a little set of these watercolour paints each quite handy for nature rambles or just for little projects when they don't want to get everything out they've got their own little set so um, she's been using these alongside. I have found that the cottage press has really awoken an interest in watercolour painting for my seven-year-old. She does it outside of the lessons as well now because she enjoys it. So we're just doing the dictation part now and um, using some of her spelling words. His from the top. <laughs> Hands. His. Upside. Yeah. And <coughs> Hands from the top. Full stop. Done. So now we're just doing a little grammar lesson. No? Yes. And we're changing from present tense to past tense. Ooh. And plural. So what about pull? Pull. Pull. If you've already... If you're going to pull, or you've already, oh, no. you've already Killed. pulled. Not, Not quite. You're either going to make a cake, or you've already made it. Already. It. Not made, but made. Made. That's right. So right, made. Uh, Your letters from the top. Uh, so take. Take n. Take n. That's right. So that's the cottage press for today done. So she's done the picture with the um, art study. She's done the date and the title here. She's done a little bit of dictation. Then she's done um, making things plural and um, in past tense. So I'll give you a quick flick through of what the days she's done look like. So it's, it's a really nice and um, manageable. And there's not so much that you couldn't add something else to it as well. So she'd normally do her maths and a bit of spelling as well. Mm -hmm.